Hey Pisces, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for July the 1st through the 4th. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Pisces. For those of you who are interested in a reading that's uh, for the time frame before July. Um, I do have June bonuses up as well as June 28th through the 30th. So if you're looking for something for the current time frame that was posted recently, those are up if you're interested. So let's go ahead and begin though. This is for July 1st through the 4th Pisces. Let's see what we have for you. July the 1st through the 4th for Pisces people. What's going on here for Pisces energy? July the 1st through the 4th. You have the chariot showing up. Monday could be a big day for you all. Tuesday. Are you kidding me? My... Wow, Pisces. Wow. <laughs> Thursday's the only day that's like not screaming something major here. But, you know, I will say this could be about a transition that you're going through. Possibly some of you a move. You could be trying to move here. But the chariot is showing up for Monday the 1st. Victory, triumph over obstacles, um, forward movement. Some of you possibly something going on with the car. What's going on with the chariot um, showing up for Monday for Pisces? of Wands expansion. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there's a lot of future planning here. Seven of Pentacles, something you've been waiting on is going to push forward here. Some of you, this could be some communication from a Cancer or an Aries coming in on Monday the 1st. That Three of Wands can be sending something out, but it can also be future plans that you're making for forward movement here. You do have the Death card showing up for Tuesday, so I'm curious to see what that's about. Scorpionic energy. What's going on with the Death card for Pisces on July 2nd? Page of Wands, Adventure. Some of you could be ending something here with a fire sign. Um, this could be a karmic cycle closing out here, but I do feel a lot of you just seeking something new, like your soul is seeking something new. A cycle has closed out here, like you're excited for, for a transition to take place. So I think for a lot of you, this could literally be you planning a move, like I said, changing residence, but this could be a job change as well. I think for most of you, it's like some of you, you could actually be making the move itself, but I do feel that for a lot of you, that's like a big plan that's happening here that's being made on Tuesday the 2nd um, is to leave something behind and go towards something new. I am curious about the devil showing up here for Wednesday's energy. It's a Capricorn card. Some of you could be getting a message from a fire sign or a Scorpio on Tuesday here. This could be someone you thought had moved on that's messaging you. So that could be where the karmic cycle needs to close out. We do have the devil Wednesday the 3rd. Capricorn energy. What's happening with this? Eight of Swords, the Moon. Yeah, Pisces, I feel like somebody's stuck on you here. I feel like there's someone who is stuck on you, and I think they could be expressing that to you between Tuesday and Wednesday here. I feel like you've got a lot going for you. You see, like, Monday looks really good for you committing to a new path, you know? I think for a lot of you, it's been something that you've been putting off for a while when it comes to that Seven of Pentacles energy. So you're excited, you're committing to a new path. And because of that, I feel like your vibration is, like, going up. And somebody could be kind of feeling that, and they're, like, latching on because the cycle's closing out. So I think for some of you, you could be getting some sort of message here between Tuesday and Wednesday. Eight of Swords, the Moon card energy. Some of you, this is a Capricorn or somebody who has a Capricorn Moon. Um, yeah, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer with a Capricorn Moon or vice versa. But yeah, this energy here, somebody I think has been burying a lot of emotion and you could have thought this person moved on, but I do think that... Um, it's possible that it may not even be emotion. Some of you, it could be lust, that devil energy, um, that eight of swords energy. Like, you know, it just seems like there's a lot of hidden desire here that a person may have for you. And they could be um, reaching out to you between the second and the third. We do have the nine of pentacles showing up for the fourth. Somebody here might have Venus in, um, Venus in Virgo. You could be pampering yourself at this time, Pisces, buying yourself new things. That could be the case here. A um, lot of responsibility on your plate. I feel what's going on with this. What's going on with the Nine of Pentacles here? July the 4th for Pisces. A lot of you, I would be cautious of someone... Um, trying to get more out of you for something here. It just seems to me as if there's been an agreement here and there could be a person who thinks, like this ha This may have to do with a big purchase. Like a person may be trying to get more out of you for something. I would just be mindful of that. Just definitely be reading the fine print for sure uh, when it comes to agreements that you're making at this time, Pisces in regards to money and things of that nature. But you know, when it comes to that Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you're set, you're good. But <laughs> there could be someone coming towards you here and I'd be careful of what they know about your finances or what they know about um, 
yeah, I just, I have a weird feeling about that Pisces. I'm not saying everyone coming towards you is like trying to use you for money or use you for resources or whatever the case may be, but it could be something you want to watch out for for a specific person. Um, and this could be someone who may approach you on Thursday the 4th. But, you know, um, I will say temperance to the Nine of Pentacles, things are balancing out. And Seven of Swords, you know, although it can be trickery, theft, and deception, it's not always someone else who's deceiving us. Sometimes we can be deceiving ourselves or sabotaging our own finances. So that could be something you might want to watch out for as well here, Pisces, on Thursday. Finances may start to balance out and you may feel like, oh, I can splurge. I can do this or that. You know, if you've like, maybe if you're getting a check on Thursday, right? And you're like, oh, that's more than I expected. So then you spend that extra when you know that you should put it somewhere else, right? It could be something like that here as well, Pisces. But, you know, it looks like there's room for financial improvement. I would just be cautious of people trying to take from you or you, you know, just not making the best um, choice, which happens when it comes to your finances. You know, just making sure you're not sabotaging your own pockets here, Pisces. But yeah, that's what I have for you. I hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.